This is the third time in 72 hours that L.A. Sheriff's deputies have clashed with these street protesters, demanding justice for Dijon Kizzy. New outrage came after dozens of those protesters were arrested over the weekend. And tonight, NBC4's Beverly White is tracking the tension. Protesters facing off with L.A. sheriffs in South L.A. tonight, near where deputies fatally shot Dijon Kizzy one week ago. The sheriff overseeing his department's response. It's very appropriate because if you see what happened in Seattle, what's happening in Rochester right now, what's happened in Portland, where law enforcement did not protect their, uh, you know, government buildings, and they were uh, vandalized, destroyed, taken over. At rallies last weekend, activists say a dozen protesters were arrested for failure to disperse. They lined up with the threat of violence and carrying out violence against people who were assembled to call out their brutality. We're bringing out the message that this system cannot be, they cannot be reformed. It needs to be overthrown. This mom says at Saturday's rally, deputies tear gassed her seven year old daughter. It burned her eyes, her nose, her throat. It still burns when she eats food. And she's terrified of the sheriffs now. We did not deploy any tear gas, any pepper balls anywhere near any child whatsoever. However, because of the wind pattern, if they're deploying in one direction and downwind, Someone feels uh, something drifts by, well, that, we can't account for that. As the child spoke, a man broke in, claiming to be related to Kizzy. Just a little girl living in the neighborhood. She was assaulted by sheriff. Where? Do you not support Where? her? Turns out his dispute was with protesters who insist they'll stay active in Kizzy's name. So we say drop all the charges and charge the cops who killed and murdered Dijon Kizzy. As for the deputies who killed Dijon Kizzy, the sheriff says they've been reassigned to desk duty. And he says online threats may delay his decision to release their names. In South L.A., I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News.